Alright, what is up YouTube? I am Jean-Philippe. This is actually my first YouTube video ever, so hi! Uh, today I'm going to show you how I remake this version of Take On Me using the uh, Arturia Collection V instrument and a drum from uh, Ableton. So the first instrument we hear is this one, which uh, for this one I used a Juno 6 with the preset Pi I know that come with the Arturia collection. I think for this one I might have changed the chorus to make it sound a little bit more like the real one. And then I used the reverb from live. Mine sounds like this. The original one sounds like this. So I thought they were pretty close. Then we have the bass line, which sounds like this. So for this instrument, I use the DX7 uh, VST. Uh, I load the preset Room 1A 15 Base 1, which is basically a reproduction of the original DX7 preset. And what I did is I just changed the envelope of each operator to have a attack at zero. So the bass is more snappy than the original preset. Then I add a little EQ to remove the low frequencies of the bass and I add a little reverb on it. So this is mine, this is the real one. Then I put a little pad with the bass. So for the pad I use the Juno 6 I use the preset 80s PWM pad, so this is mine. This is the one from the song. What I did with the June 6 is I put a little reverb on it and I add a dirty tape audio effect. And then we come to the lead part, so we have this. This one is made with the Juno 6. I load the preset, take the lead. I think I changed a little bit the envelope. So I played with the uh, attack, delay, sustain and release. And I changed the chorus to this one, I think. And on the lead, we have a little reverb, but the sounds sound really thin. So what I did is I layered it with a DX7 with the preset Room 1A09 Piano 2. What I did with this preset is I just add a little chorus on it. The two layers together sound like this. So with that there was missing something in the higher frequencies. So for that I reused the um, Juno 6 we had at the beginning with the Piano preset. So this one by itself sounds like this. So with the lead and the bell one, we have the sound, which sound really more complete. And the real one sounds like this. And finally, all the sound with the bass. With the pad. and with the drum. And finally, the last instrument we have, it's a little bell right here, which is the same as the this one. So it's the DX7 with a little chorus on it. And it does the little transition before the verse. So. so with all the instrument, it sounds like this.
Finally, we have the drum, which uh, on the real track they use a Lindrum, and on the Ableton pack there's a drum that take recording of the Lindrum, which is the LD kit. So for that, I use the kit LD room from Ableton. I put a little reverb on it, a little drum bus to make it more crunchy, to have more drive, and I put a little EQ on it to adjust the sound. So first there's a kick. So for the kick, I transpose it to semi tone down, and that's pretty much it. So this is my kick, and this is the one from the original track. So they are not identical, but I thought they were pretty close. Then in the track, there's a little uh, fill that hit on every half note, if you listen closely. So I try to reproduce this with this one. I basically took the original kick, I transpose it seven semitone up, and this is what it sounds like. So with the other kick, then we have the snare, which hit on every second and fourth. So for this one, I use the original snare, I transpose it one semitone down and detune it a little bit and put a little reverb on it so the hit hit harder so this is how it sound this is how the original one sound finally on every second kick there's a little um i don't know how to call it but glitch effect on the real track that if you hear closely on this this hit so to try to reproduce this, what I did is I took the snare, I transposed it 14 semitone down, I add a little erosion on it, a little reverb, and this was pretty much as close as I could get to the real one. So this is what it sounds like with the kick. So if you put all the drum together, So yeah, this is pretty much as close as I could get to the real drum. I'm no expert in the drum design. So if you have any idea on how I could improve this to another level, let me know in the comment below. So I'll play the track one last time. So that pretty much wraps it up. If you have any question, any idea, please let a comment below. I'll leave all the MIDI track in the description below. So if you want to play around and maybe try to improve the drum, uh, you're free to do it. Have a good day. I'll see you around.